If you're struggling with how to get your Foundry TT up and running on your Raspberry Pi, this video walks you through exact steps you need to take. Also, this video is part of mini-series on how to easily set up fully functioning Foundry VTT on your Raspberry Pi. Hope it helps! Hi there, it's V from Helping Ninja. If you're here for the first time, it could be useful for you to check prior videos in this playlist, so we have the same baseline for building our Foundry VTT. I'm going to show you step by step what you need to do. In this video, we are going to create a simple Samba share to access and modify our Foundry content from our PC or laptop. And we'll be creating our first Docker Compose file with Foundry definitions. We'll modify our firewall rules to allow traffic to Foundry. And we'll be launching our Foundry VTT for the first time. Interested? Let's dive into it. Okay, so we are freshly logged in our Raspberry. We will start with creating a directory where we will be storing our Foundry data. Let me be clear, it's not Foundry server itself that will be run in a Docker container. This is the place where our game worlds and all of our custom data will be stored. And we want it to be easily accessible, to be able to upload stuff here and so on. So we'll create simple Samba share here. Okay, let's create the share directory. sudo make directory m1777 share. The dash M stands for mask uh, and it sets permissions for this directory. 777 means anyone can access, read and write in this directory, but the one in the front sends, uh, sets a sticky bit. Simply put, that means only files owner and root can rename or delete files in this folder. If you want to know more about permissions in Linux, I'll point you to Google. Now we'll install Samba itself, sudo apt install Samba, Samba common bin. We will install it with all of its dependencies. Just confirm yes and uh, wait a moment. Now for the configuration, open this file etc samba smb.conf with text editor of your choosing. I like Wim, maybe you're familiar with Nano or anything else. Jump to the end of the file and create configuration for our shared directory. Don't worry, there will be a link in the description from where you can conveniently copy all of the text inputs you see here. Share, command, pi, shared folder, path, home, pi, share, browsable, yes, writable, yes, only guest, no, create mask 0777, directory mask uh, 0777 public yes. Basically what this says is that we will use our share folder in our home directory, which in my case is a uh, home slash pi. We will make it browsable, writable and set some permissions. If you want to make your share more strict on security, please refer to Samba configuration manual and set it according to your preferences. Escape colon WQ to save changes and uh, exit the editor and clear the screen. Now that we have our share folder, we are going to set our Samba password for our user. In my case, I'll use a uh, pi user, sudo smb pass wd uh, a pi, type and retype your new password. You see there's confirmation on edit user pi. Restart the Samba service for changes to take effect, sudo service smbd restart. Clear. Now let's create folders for our future foundry data. Make dear share foundry data and create folder for docker configuration files. Make dear docker. And now the good stuff, uh, the core part of this tutorial. Create file named docker compose.yml in docker folder. Wim docker docker compose yml is the place where we'll set up our Foundry Docker server. I'll just paste my prepared file. Again, don't worry, you will find a link in the description from where you can copy this file contents. Just a quick skim through the file. Actual version of a Docker file we are using today is 3.9. We're going to launch one service named Foundry. I recommend using Foundry image from this guy, uh, Feldy. I hope I uh, read it right. It's working super re reliably for me. So shout out for his great job. 
thanks from all of us, Feldy. Hostname, you should specify here hostname of the server where you want to run your foundry. For example, I use something like rdnd helping.ninja. Network mode, I've set uh, this to host. Uh, this basically means Docker container will use same network as our host system. In my case, Raspberry network. This has few drawbacks, like you can't specify port mappings between container and the host system, but I found it to be a little faster than other, other uh, modes. And we'll use uh, Nginx reverse proxy to solve the port issues. If you want to, I encourage you to study a few things about Docker Networks management and configure Docker the way you like. But for now, just take my word for it and bear with me. In it through, don't worry about this one. Restart unless stopped. Uh, this means we want our Docker container to be running all the time unless we manually stop it. Volumes type bind. Bind option makes this volume actually to bind to the file system of our Raspberry Pi so you can access it from outside of the container. Source, share foundry data. Source is the directory on your Pi. We'll use our Samba share directory we created beforehand. And uh, target data, target is the directory inside the foundry container. Uh, do not change this one. Last part is environment section. Well, this is the section where you'll need to put your credentials from Foundry website. I mean, from the one where you purchase, purchased your Foundry license. Foundry password uh, is the password to your account. Foundry username is your username. Be careful. This is not your email, which you regist registered with your account. It's uh, the username. You can find it on Foundry website after you log in in your account settings. And Foundry admin key is something you need to set up. This is the password which you'll be using to access Foundry in the web browser. Make up something safe and reasonably long. And I beg you, if you're not already using some kind of password manager, uh, start using one, please. It doesn't matter which one. Uh, last pass, one password, um, I think remember. Just pick one and start using it. You'll thank me later. That's it for Foundry configuration. Save the changes and exit. Now, uh, let's move to Docker folder and launch our Foundry Docker service. Docker Compose app-d. It will download the proper images of Foundry and launch it with our configuration. Bam, done, simple, right? One last thing, we need to allow access to Foundry on our firewall. Its default port is 30,000 and we need allow connections to our Samba share also. So sudo ufw allow 30,000 and sudo ufv allow Samba. sudo ufv reload to reload our firewall rules. Now that everything is set up, head to the web browser and put in the address of our Pi with port 30,000 in my case. 10.0.0.101 colon 30,000. Hooray! Our foundry is up and the first thing we see is license agreement. Read through it and if you don't want to stop here, just accept it. And finally, here's the actual login screen to foundry. You can put in the password you specified in foundry admin key section and continue to discover this awesome platform. Thanks for watching, now you have running Foundry on your very own server. Hope this tutorial helped you and please consider hitting that subscribe button, it helps me. Take care.